guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, our first art behind the DIY tutorial. Peace and love. Please subscribe and ring the bell button. Thank you. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Beatmoji app at what's requested by Mr. Kandak Shandal. But first, allow me to greet my very first shout out, Miss Narian. Thank you for being part of my YouTube journey. Kung meron po kayong pa shout out, comment lang kayo, guys. So let's start. So guys, just download the Beatmoji app in the Play Store. Just search for it in the search box. It was spelled as B-I-T-M-O-J-I. Click the install and wait for it to install. <laughs> Once the installation is complete, you may now open the app. Just click the open button and it will bring you to the Beatmoji app itself. It has two options to log in. One is with Snapchat and with email, but I prefer to log in with Snapchat because of the 3D effects that we can make on it that I will show you later on how to do it. So as you can see guys, I have already my avatars in my stickers because I already installed this one. But if you aren't sure on how you look like in an animated version of yourself, you can still edit it on the avatar section. Like, it will bring you to the options on hairstyle. You may also edit your skin tone, hair color, hairstyle, hair treatment, even the eye size and eye spacing, guys. So, it is much more detailed animated version of yourself compared to Facebook avatar. And... Even the jaw lines and check lines, you can edit those features of yourself. You may also notice that a variety of headwears is really awesome. You may fit to your personality and even the cultures that you are in. So I'm just gonna change my headwear to a blue headband. It's funny that even your chest size matters on this avatar. So, on the outfit, if you're an fashionista, you will never get tired of scrolling down because it has so many options. But once you are done editing, you may now click the save avatar. And finally, you now have a pack of stickers. You may send these personal stickers on Messenger and on Viver. But you have to turn on the keyboard for it to activate. It has two easy steps in activating the Beatmoji keyboard. One is enabling settings. So we just have to turn on the Beatmoji keyboard and click OK. And once done, we can now switch keyboard from the current one that we are using. So let's choose the Beatmoji and we're done. Just click the finish and we're your Bitmoji keyboard is now set up. And now as we go to our messenger app, we will notice that the Bitmoji keyboard is now activated. And once we type any word, like for example, I type the word hi, once you scroll down to the upper right corner, you will see different customized stickers of yourself. So this is how you can express yourself through stickers and as you type another word, for example, I type hello, it also gives you another set of stickers. So, it's one of the reasons why I like this app. Aside from, you can make a 3D emoji on it that I will show you later. And now, let's also type I love you. So, for this one, it will also give you another set of pack of stickers to choose from. This emoji is not only working on Messenger but also in Viber, SMS, in your Instagram, and even on when you comment on Facebook. You may also use this keyboard. Now let's change the settings of our Beatmoji. Just click the settings icon and it will lead you to different options. Like in the languages, it uses this default system language, but you can change it to your preferred languages. For example, you're in the Philippines, you can change it to Filipino. And now, you, 
you may change its preferences in auto capitalization by by break and clear press just turn off or turn on guys or whatever you want you may also choose the theme you may choose the light or dark but i prefer the dark so let's try the dark theme so as you can see it now enabled the dark theme now guys let's go to snapchat to create some 3d or moving emojis so I have two ways of editing my videos. One is through Snapchat and the other one is through KineMaster. So for this one, I will just show you first on how to edit on Snapchat. Just search for the keyword on the search box. So let's type dance. So make sure that you are checking on the lenses and click for the Snapchat then so we can make a bitmoji so there you go just wait for a minute and it will now show a moving bitmoji so once done and this is how lovely you see yourself dancing because if you aren't good at dancing on real life at least in your emojis you are so you may also add a text on it just click the t button on the upper right corner and type anywhere that you want so i'm just gonna type in let's bring it on because i'm doing some um, stressful jobs joke <laughs> so there you go just click the check mark if you're done and bring it on whatever corner that you want and just click save so once save you may now go to your gallery so here's another example of moving bitmojis for this effects I'm using the runway walk lenses on snapchat so I'm just closing and opening my hands for this effect. So uh, whatever you want to use guys, it's up to you. You just have to be creative and search, search for the right lenses on your project. So guys, let's try another one. Um, let's search for the thumbs up in the search box and click for the thumbs up snapchat lenses and once done just place a green background because we'll be using these on our chroma key video editing so as you can see we can make it big smaller or place it whenever we wanted and once are you okay with the position you just click the video button the default time is one minute and just save this one after saving the video, let's now export this one. So just click this button. It will show you your, all your snaps. So once you are already pick the video that you want to save to your gallery, just click this and it will show you to export snap. And if you click the export snap, it will show another again to export to camera roll. So you can see it's now exporting to your camera and it's now saved to your gallery. Now guys, let's edit our Snapchat through Kine Master. So just open the app and click for the media and choose for the background that you want to appear in your video. So let's just pan and zoom so we can maximize the space of our video the size should be 16 by 18 so it fits to the youtube display so let's also edit the end position so it will have a synchronized effect on the start and the end position so now let's import our snap the one that we have created earlier so it has an option to crop so let's crop first our video so it will fit 
to our desired size. So once done cropping, we, we may now activate the chroma key. As you can see, the background is now gone. And only the emojis are being shown. So that's uh, the good thing that we have to create in Kind Master. So once done, cropping and chroma keying, let's add some text. So just click for the layer and for the T button and type for whatever you want. So for me, I will type thank you and I will search for a thumbs up. emojis so because we are using a thumbs up animated bitmojis so just click ok and for this one we may change our text just click just click the settings button so for this one let's change the font style of our text because it's too plain so just click the AA button and search for the font style that you want up and once you are done choosing your font style you may also change your the color of the text just click for the color and choose the color that you want and place the text on the position that you wanted now let's click the play button as you can see it's now moving and it will be the result of the video that you are making and once you are done um, reviewing your video, you can now save it. Just click the export and it will now export to your gallery. And wait for it to save on your gallery. That's all. Thank you. So guys, thank you for listening and watching on how to use, make, and create a 3D animated bitmojis of yourself. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe and click the subscribe bell button. Thank you.